Welcome back to creating a sequel to RDS, Christopher's Manifesto with Subpart Programming Skills, Part 5. I know I said I would work on enemies next, but while I was in the middle of doing that, I decided to implement some diagonal movement, mainly so you could also fire diagonally. First, I wanted to fix a small problem I made back in Part 2 with movement, which was using keystrokes to check what direction I was facing at any given time. Instead, I changed it on a whim to using input.getAxisRaw, and then checking for each possible value on each axis. This makes a lot more sense, but it's still probably not the best way to do it. With that little fix, I went on back to what I was familiar with, which is the art side of things. I just needed to go and draw some diagonal sprites. Although I literally just said this is what I was familiar with, I struggled to get what I wanted out of it. I worked at it for a bit, but just couldn't decide what to do to improve the downward facing sprites. I'm not going to like everything I make. Sometimes it doesn't mean it's bad, but no, this is definitely not great. Nonetheless, sometimes you just have to ignore these things so you can move on and fix it later. There's no reason to get hung up on something like that forever this early on. That being said, I definitely want to make it look right before the game is finished, since the downward diagonal sprites will make up a quarter of the character's movement, and you'll be moving the entire game, so if you could put in the comments what I could do to make this look better, that would be much appreciated. Anyways, I went on to have a bit of trouble with getting the diagonal movements to work correctly, at least with shooting diagonally. My experience with that is a little too long to append to this short, so I'll have to talk about it in part 6. 